Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I got a suggestion from a guy who calls himself Gotta Have CLS. That's how it's spelled out. Don't really know what it means, but it's kind of an interesting title. Anyways, what he suggested is there's a way to salvage this grommet, this strain relief right here on the end of the cable. And we're gonna see if his method works. We're gonna give it a shot. What I'm gonna do, I have a new cable. What it is is an extension cord. So I'm gonna clip the end off of this and use this as the cable for my drill motor. That'll give me a nice long cord to work with. With the drill motor unplugged, I'm gonna loosen these screws that hold the back of the case on. I'm going to loosen these two screws here that hold the back of the handle together. And that will allow me to separate the cable clamp. That is some seriously long screw thread. <laughs> Separate the two halves of the housing. There's the ground wire and the black and the white. I'm going to have to clip off the black and the white. The ground wire I can put a new uh, terminal on. But the black and the white go right into the switch. I'm not going to be able to do anything with those other than clip them off back here and reattach them. I'm going to leave this section sitting over here because we're going to work on the cable. I want to pull these wires out of there if I can. Hmm. Don't know if that's going to work. The thing that gotta have CLS talked about is drilling this wire out. But with that curve in there, I want to be real careful about putting any kind of drilling effort on that. I don't want to have this wander off to the side and tear out. Oh, it might have caused it to break free. There we go. That got that loose. I'm still gonna have to drill out that liner.
that looks like the right size. Now if we can do this without damaging the tube, that will be much nicer. Let's try this. See if I can't just crank that down onto that gear and hold that in place. And then spin this down on it. Now, GOTA HV CLS. Can you see why I say gotta have CLS? said that he was taught to use a rag to hold the piece and then spin the drill in a drill press. And I suppose if that's what he did, that works. But I'm not real fond of that method. I would rather have a little slower process and not have it run the risk of catching my fingers in a drill press that's moving. Not being a safety sally, just saying, I don't want to get cut. But it looks like I'm being successful in drilling a hole through the center of that sheet. Well, this isn't exactly the same as what Gotta Have CLS was talking about. He was talking about the heavy duty strain reliefs on much larger cables. Here's the end of the drill bit on up through. I'm reaching into the sides and pulling out the insides from these openings in the side of it. Don't know if this is exactly what we had in mind when we started this project, but it seems to be functioning. If I get enough room to slide that cable through there, I think that's going to make me happy. I think I have to stop now. I'm starting to get a split. And if I break it, 
pretty much game over. take this knife and I'm going to open up the slot a little bit. Just to make sure I have enough room for that wire to slide up in through there. What if I can get in there and pick some of that off the side. Doesn't look like it. Looks like that's another risk to break something. This looks like a good spot to stop. I'm getting ready to put the cable in, but it's gonna be another 45 minutes before I'm done with the video. Do you have any suggestions for a new video? Questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel? Just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.